Okay, hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install uh, Ubuntu uh, GUI uh, into a uh, Ubuntu server. So, first we need to log into our Ubuntu server by using command ssh and username at your IP address. Then, here my IP address is something like this. Okay, and then we need to type a password of our YouTube user. Okay, now we are logged into our Ubuntu server, and then now we will start to install the GUI for our Ubuntu. First, we need to update our repository by using command sudo apt update, and then we need to wait, and then we need to install another software to help us to install the GUI uh, Ubuntu faster. That software is called Test Cell. Now we will uh, install that software. Install test cell. Okay, then yes. Okay, now it's installing a test cell. And then we need to open that test cell to install our desktop environment. So uh, I think we need to wait a little bit. Okay, now the installation is finished, then we need to run the cell to start installing our G1. Okay, this is the interface of our test cell software. So now we will choose a Ubuntu desktop as we want to install the, the GUI. Then we need to press space, and then to select it, and then we press enter to install. Okay, now the software we install the Ubuntu desktop on our server and then we need to wait before it's done. I think it take a little bit uh, of time. Okay, then we need to be uh, patient and now we can go and take a cup of coffee and then when we go back, I think it's already finished. So I will uh, move the video faster so you don't need to Time waiting for the software to install. Okay, now the installation is finished, so now I will reboot the system. Okay, now the system is rebooting, I will connect to our server again. Now is a reboot in the server, so I need to wait a little bit. Okay, now I will need to provide my password. Okay, I think now uh, the system already installed the uh, GUI, 
and then I need to make sure whenever I start up the system, it will start up the GUI. So I need to type this comment. Okay, it will start the GUI. But because we remote this in our terminal, so we cannot see the GUI here. So uh, I will show you in another video how to connect uh, the Juvent to desktop uh, to server GUI from desktop client. So I will post the video here and you can continue to install the another step to uh, to view the your Ubuntu server desktop. Okay, hello guys. In the previous video, we already installed the GUI to our Ubuntu server. Now I will show you how to remotely connect to our Ubuntu GUI. To do this, we need to install uh, HRDP software. So, sorry, first I need to connect to our server first. Okay, then now I am connecting to our server. Then I will install one software to allow me to connect uh, to the GUI of the server. Okay, now the server is installed. Now I will enable this software and see this coming. Okay, now to check the status of the server, we need to use this command system control status xrdp. Okay, now it's running. So we can uh, connect to our uh, to desktop using any uh, remote desktop software from Windows or from Mac using uh, Microsoft Desktop Remote. So I will pause the video here. I will connect. Uh, to the server using a Microsoft software. Okay, as now we already installed our Ubuntu server, we installed the Ubuntu desktop, and we also installed the remote protocol to our server. So now we will remote to our server using Microsoft remote desktop. If you are on Mac, you can install from App Store. If you are on the window, you already have the software installed on the window. So open the software, and then you need to add PC. And then your IP address. This is my IP address. And then user account. Display. I don't start in full screen. Okay. Then I press eight. Then I double click to connect to my server. Okay. And show my connect. Then I need to provide my password. It's a name root and my password. Then press connect to connect to my Jupyter server on my server digital OC. Okay, connect. Then I need to wait for a few seconds. Okay, this is uh, my Jupyter server on my digital OC account. And I can now remote uh, using GUI. And thank you for watching. If you have any question, you can comment in the video description below if you uh, like if, if you like our video please subscribe to get more video in future okay thank you so much bye bye